This video is sponsored by Alcet E Homes, whose mission it is to accelerate the advent of sustainable healthy living systems around the world. Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla. Elon Musk has been talking about it in so many interviews now and said he already has a great design for a VTOL jet that I have no doubt that Tesla will one day make an electric VTOL plane. But when will this happen and what will this mean? Because it is not just making an electric plane we are talking about here. This will change so many things in the air travel industry. Even the airports will never look the same again. And the air industry has been pretty much the same for the last 50 years or so. This is an industry that is begging for disruption. And just like we have seen Tesla disrupt the car industry and SpaceX disrupt the rocket industry, Tesla's VTOL plane would disrupt the plane industry, the airport, the whole way we look at air travel will change forever. Let me tell you why and let's dive right in. Why make an electric plane? Well, for the same reason to make an electric car. It will be much better for the environment and CO2 emissions and so on. And it will be a superior technology, just like EVs versus ICE cars. So it will be far cheaper to build than the very complex jet of today. Again, it is just getting the battery cost down and very important for the electric plane, the energy density of the battery cell must come up. But I will get back to that. But this chain will be just like the EV, have a lot less moving parts. A normal jet is a very expensive thing to maintain and fuel and so on just like EVs versus ICE cars. But this is just on a much bigger scale, so this will be even more profound. And Elon is sure he can make a supersonic electric VTOL plane. But we already have electric planes today, but they are just retrofitted normal planes. In 2014, we saw the uh, revolution in uh, electric propulsion in other industries, in particular automotive, and we were convinced that the electrical revolution would happen in aerospace as well. So we launched a fully electric powered aircraft, which we called the EFAN-1. So the real disruption will come with the VTOL, not just a plane running on electricity. And with Tesla's light and efficient electric motors that would be running the propellers of the VTOL plane, it's just much easier and cheaper to produce than the expensive and complicated jet engines of today. So this will make them much cheaper to produce, maintain, fuel, perform better, just as we have seen in the car industry with the electric car. So what exactly is a VTOL jet? Well, it is a plane that can make vertical takeoff and landing. And this is very important for the disruption, but I will get back to that. But because of that, the motor is electric and not an ice engine also makes a big difference in the performance and how these planes works. A normal aircraft gets less efficient the higher it goes because of their combustion engines need oxygen. But this does not matter for the electric motor. The higher it goes, the more efficient it gets because of less air resistance. So the electric plane will be able to fly even faster at higher altitudes than traditional jets. So in theory, they will be able to fly much faster than traditional jets and much more efficient because they can go up higher and have very little air resistance, but still have all the power of the electric motor. And one of the cool things about a VTOL is it could actually use some of the same kind of physics like the electric car that is making regenerative braking, putting electricity back into the battery from the movement of the car. The VTOL would be able to do the same thing when it's going down from its high altitude, letting the air go through the propellers almost like wind turbines, spinning the propellers the other way around and recharging the battery on board. So the electric jet would use a lot of power getting up in altitude, but then they can easily cruise very efficiently since there is not much air resistance left up there, but the electric motor will still spin like a kit 
Britain, and then going down it would be able to regenerate electricity. So the VTOL could be more efficient than people might think because of these factors. And Tesla can rethink the whole concept of a plane and of course make it a much better experience with SpaceX Starlink Internet on board of course, and not making it like the planes of today that is more like a can of sardines. And Tesla is working on autonomous driving, where Tesla is working to solve AI vision. So I think the Tesla VTOL will be an autonomous plane, because that is much more simple than driving down on roads between all us humans. Here they only have to take off vertical and go to the destination and land vertical. And with the VTOL having Tesla's AI vision, this should not really be a problem. But this is of course just the plane. But how would a new airport look like if we have vertical takeoff and landing? It will for sure be very different than today and can be as big as a disruption as the plane itself. Right now I have to drive about an hour just to get to an airport. But if we can make them much smaller because they don't need a runway, and they are less noisy, we can make a lot more airport instead of just a few big ones in a country, but a lot smaller ones all over the country, even taking off from rooftops of tall buildings, because we will not be able to hear the noise from the street. So the airport will become very different from how they are today. This is just me thinking out loud, of course, but we don't really need all these runways anymore when they can take off vertically. So why not have a big building or a raised platform or something like that where the plane can sit on top of the building and then you will just have these streets underneath where you can just go straight to your VTOL jet, take an elevator up directly to the plane and jump on board. Just go to street number four, gate number three, elevator up to your VTOL on the top of the building easy and fast. And a typical runway at a normal airport is normally between 2.5 to 4 kilometers long. And here on my little homemade VTOL airport, I have put in 18 planes on the long side and eight down on the short side. And a normal Boeing jet, the 747, have a wingspan of about 60 meters. And if we give them a clearance of about 20 meters on each side of the plane, and say it's about the same length that it is wide, we need a little box of about a 100 meters times 100 meters for the VTOL to fit in. So my little planes here would be taking up 1.8 kilometers long and only 800 meters on the short side. So compared to just the runway of a normal airport, this is nothing. And here we have 144 VTOL planes ready to take off. At Copenhagen Airport, our biggest airport here in Denmark, it only has about 108 jet bridges and remote parking stands. And that airport is covering almost 12 square kilometers of land, but can only house about 108 planes. Where my little made up VTOL airport here is housing 144 VTOL planes on only about 1.5 square kilometers of land. And Copenhagen Airport's capacity is about 83 operations per hour. But here in this VTOL airport, the planes can pretty much just take off whenever they're ready, because they don't need a runway. And since they will be all autonomous, they will be able to talk to each other, making sure they don't take off at the exact same time as their neighboring plane. So here we will see planes taking off and landing constantly. It will be more like watching a beehive with bees constantly in the air. And because the VTOLs are all talking to each other and all have slightly different flight plans and so on to make sure no one crashes into each other. So even if the planes need to be a little bit smaller for the VTOL plane to work, the sheer amount of planes that can take off during a day will just be insane, making up for the size of the planes. And instead of making only three big airports around a big city like New York, you can have a lot more smaller airports all around the city, taking off from rooftops inside the city or just out at sea on small platforms. The possibilities are many and will also change how we think of air travel. Not just that Tesla is making an electric VTOL plane, but that it will take off vertically, has less noise, less maintenance, less space consuming, faster, more efficient, cheaper to build, will all combined disrupt the whole 
industry. We will not have airports as we know them today. They will be very, very different. And this could really hurt someone like Boeing, because they are kind of like the old OEMs of the car industry, making very little improvement year over year. And as we have talked about before here on this channel, disruption almost never comes from existing players in the game. So Elon Musk could really become a thorn in Boeing's eye, since he also came with SpaceX and disrupted the rocket industry and left Boeing in the dust as well, as SpaceX won the race for a NASA contract for sending humans into space again. So if Tesla will come in and disrupt the air travel industry as well, that could become the big Nokia moment for Boeing. And I do think it will be a project that SpaceX and Tesla will do some collaboration on, just as we have seen with the Cybertruck, where Tesla got some help from SpaceX engineers, and also with the Octovalve and so on and so on. So Tesla is in a unique position to have a close relationship with one of the most innovative companies on the planet. That will not just make human space travel a real thing, but also make a transportation system around the world for very fast point-to-point -point travel with their Starship. So not many other companies have all this combined knowledge in one or two companies that are working together. And Tesla and SpaceX do have some of the best engineers in the world. And when everything is up and running a bit more smoothly for both Tesla and SpaceX, their top engineers could get some more time for a new project. Because top of the line engineers is not easy to come by, and that is what is needed to make this a reality. They already have the brain power for it. They just don't have the time or the resources for another big project right now. I don't think it's a question of if this will happen, but more a question of when this will happen. So when will it happen? Well, Guiley from Hyperchain and Matt Joyce has been talking about it before. They did talk about the increase of battery density that is about 5% per year. And if there was no breakthrough in battery technology, we would have the battery density we need around 2028 without no breakthroughs. But Tesla has made a big breakthrough in batteries. And I do believe Elon has already given us a timeline. He has been saying that maybe in three or four years, Tesla would have the battery with over 400 watt hours per kilogram that are needed for an electric VTOL plane. And that was back in 2020. So maybe in 2023 or 2024? But this is actually sandbagging because Tesla's new battery has an increase of 54% in energy density. Range increase, we're unlocking up to 54% increase in range for our vehicles and energy density for our energy products. And we know Tesla was about 260 watt hour per kilogram a couple of years back, but Tesla is getting very close to 300 watt hours per kilogram already. But no matter where they are between 260 to 300 watt hour per kilogram, but adding on a 54% increase in energy density, they will get over the 400 watt hour per kilogram with their new 4680 cells. So I actually believe that Tesla's new 4680 cell battery could already be good enough for making a VTOL plane. But they of course need to scale that up first. But I think 2023, 2024 would be perfect timing for Tesla to begin the VTOL project because I do believe that Tesla will have solved full self driving at that point, so that would not take up as many resources as today, and the technology would just fit perfectly with the VTOL plane as well. But it will also bring Tesla a lot of money from the robo taxis, as we have talked about before. So they would have the capital to start this project, and Tesla would have all their Giga factories running at full capacity at Shanghai, Berlin, Texas, Fremont, and probably a couple of more factories, maybe in India and other places places, spinning out the Model A or Model 2 or whatever that would be called. And I believe that will come in 2023 and be revealed already next year. So Tesla's car business will just be on fire at that point and in no trouble whatsoever and just spitting out millions of full self-driving cars every year. So I do think the timing will be perfect in 24 or maybe 25 for Tesla to take on this humongous task of a VTOL plane. And then it will of course take some time for them to make 
make a prototype plane and then getting into mass production and getting regulators approval and so on and so on. So it will probably not be before the end of this decade we will start seeing the VTOL jet flying around the world. But one thing I'm sure of is that it will happen. I think Elon wants to make this plane and it will be a very big disruption for the air travel industry and combine this with SpaceX point to point Earth travel in the Starship that Gwen Schott will also think will happen this decade. Well, SpaceX and Tesla could become two very big players in the new era of the air travel industry. And Tesla will probably be the first company in history to do both cars and planes. But I think we will see a lot of projects like this from Tesla because they are not just a car company. They are a technology company with some of the best engineers and brightest minds on the planet planet in AI, battery, programming, manufacturing, steel, alloys, electric motors and so on and so on and so on. Tesla will become much much more than just a car company. We will probably see a lot of new technologies and products coming from Tesla over the next couple of decades. And the VTOL plane will just be one of these new innovative things coming from Tesla, making yet another disruption. I think this is so exciting and I can't wait to hear more about this from Tesla at some point. I'm just so glad I'm living in the era of Elon Musk. But what do you think? Do you think the VTOL will come sooner or later or do you think they will do it or will someone else beat them to it? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you for watching and until next time, take care out there and be nice.